The Congo is the third largest country in Africa, spanning one-fourth the size of the United States. It is home to 68 million plus people. The Congo is rich in natural resources such as gold, diamonds, coltan, copper, lumber, and oil. These resources fueled the civil war that lasted 10 years and are still the reason for the ongoing conflict today. In 1960, the Congo found its independence from Belgian rule. After its independence, the country was ruled by a dictator, Mobutu, who oppressed the people. After 30 years of ruling the country, he was overthrown by Kabila. Mobutu took over after a coup d'etat and he ruled the country for 30 years and that has really brought a lot of misery, people were persecuted, people were killed under Mobutu, they were deeply oppressed. But after Kabila took over, he would like to put order in the country and try to put it very democratic. And then that wasn't easy. We have militia groups in the east and the country was in turmoil and as a result of all that that went, went on, uh, after he was in power just for, I don't know, a couple of years, he was shot and his son took over. Who f his son is uh, a person who fought hard to establish democracy in the country. When he took over uh, as president, there was people who were not happy with that. that was the deadliest period of time where villages were being attacked because they would like to take them out of the power too. So we have the civil war that lasted 10 years that killed over 5 million people. And we have 4 million orphans in the Congo, as I'm talking to you now. I've listened to the needs of those kids and how they have nothing and they have no hope. And while we can't make a difference to a lot of people, we're making a lot of difference in those 93 kids. And my dream is that those kids are going to grow up educated. The kids just wanted to be with you, just to, to say your name or to touch your hand. Like, the joy in their faces was insane. and. Um, you know, they had met me once, and the next time I saw them, they were like all chanting my name, and I, I can't explain how that feels. I mean, they're jumping around you and giving you high fives, and they're just so ecstatic, just that you're there, just to love them. But really, they love you back so much. I mean, it changes you just as much as you're changing them, if not more. Uh, to be a child there, I would describe that as someone who's hopeless and weak, because a child cannot do anything. It, just imagine that you are a two years old boy or girl, abandoned, your parents both dead, and you are left in the street. How can you even try to survive at the age of two? You can't sustain yourself, you can't do anything to survive unless there's someone who takes care of you. I thought I was prepared to see what third world living was like, uh, but I, I wasn't even close. I, I didn't understand. The TV can't tell you uh, w what the experience is of having nothing. I think you go there wondering, or people wonder, like, really, what difference can you make in two weeks? And I know that we made a difference every single day we were there. I mean, those kids were s just having the time of their life and um, so happy just to be loved. Our presence of being there was more important to those kids than the gift because they loved being hugged. Some of them haven't been hugged and, and we showed affection and just tell them we love them, tell them we care for them and tell them that they saw someone watching out for you. You are fine, you are okay. You don't have to, to live in the fear of not knowing what tomorrow will bring. There's no paved streets. So you have dirt, dust in the air all the time. You can't breathe. Um, it's their normal. They didn't have what we do have, 
but they were very, very joyful. And sometimes you ask, why are they so joyful? They just wake up and they thank God for the day that they are still alive. We wanted to do like a big barbecue or some, you know, feed them in a way that we thought, you know, what, what's really American? We're like, oh, let's do hamburgers. And so we had paid to have a half a cow there and we um, made these burgers for the kids and um, there were handmade rolls and we put them together and they lined up and I think there was like, there were probably like 300 kids that we ended up feeding these burgers to. The reason why we feed them is so that they can survive and live, not die. Second, uh, we want them to be sustaining themselves when they are old. And the best thing you can do is to send them to school. Outside of the hall, looking, peering through the windows, were some orphans that had no support. These were kids wearing rags. You could see that they kind of used this hall as a hangout place, that there were a couple of ragged blankets laying on a concrete slab of cement under a roof. And these kids were touching themselves and then going like this to us and saying like, what about us? How come you don't choose us? That was hard. You, you can't give one of those kids something because you'll be overrun. I cannot save the Congo. And what I will do will not be even try to reach out 20% of the people who are in misery. But I knew that. I can do something, at least, to save a few, you know? And with the help of people that we are, who join us in this effort. So those kids in the Congo that are in the streets, some of them that are being taken care of, are kids that need people like you and me and anyone who can join us to do what we can to find homes for them to stay in. I think this is just such an amazing organization and the way that it really is helping those children. I mean, we need to, I think, mostly just get the word out there. Our kids have clothes, they have underwear, toothpaste, blankets, mosquito nets, a pad to sleep on. They have foster parents. They have someone to turn to when they need help. We are not just in orphanage organization. We are an organization that also do the out outreach in the community. There's so many things that we want to do, but we need people to join us uh, with any contribution they can, uh, they are willing to contribute, and we will be really appreciating that. Thank you.